The city. My city. Well, actually there's a mayor council form of government, I guess. I'm a bio girl, not a political scientist. Nevertheless, in times of evil, in times of sorrow, people call on me. Well, there's not actually a phone yet, but the message is conveyed. I fight for them. I sacrifice. But in my darkest hour, when all hope seems lost, one truth remains. Best job ever! Hey, can you get out of my way? Sorry. Beyond just 
going from sexual pose to beating somebody up to sexual pose to beating someone up to occasionally get beat up and tied up. What struck me about Spinnerite is she is a female action hero, but she is not defined totally by the fact that she has internal sex organs. She has wants, she has desires, isn't totally defined by men in a She is a cop, she is an action hero, but she's not the world's greatest action hero. Okay, so I like the fact there's something human about her, that inner a character defined by what she wants to do, by what she wants to accomplish it. Not that she's particularly good at accomplishing it, but that she tries. Spinner is also a character who has a very defined sense of the world. And a lot of the story is about having that sense of what she has, the sense of the comic book reality. The filmmaker. One of the things that really interesting me is that in low-budget films, either you get low-budget horror movies, which can do so much with so little if you try. I thoroughly believe we can make a very interesting spinner up project for not that much money, which is the ultimate idea. And here's the ultimate thing. I mean, if you yourself have read this great fantasy novel or this great science fiction novel, and the science fiction novel has some ideas, would you like to see that in a movie? I mean, you could film it for $100 million, but if you're going to film it for $100 million, the first thing you'd have to do is kind of take out most of the ideas about it, you know, just reduce it to the barest, you know, hero narrative. $100 million in a movie, you gotta make $100 million off it. Basic sense. Actually, you have to make $200 million off it. Really, you can do that. And that's a very tricky thing to do. So, my kind of goal is to try to make something interesting, intelligent, and thoughtful. Not very much. And if you want to comment me, if you want to take your science fiction novel, go right ahead. One of the things that really broke to me, I think, is I just asked the crazy crowd, the creator of this kind of act, if I could do this, if we could make a short film. And he said, sure. He said, we can. Why not? Go, go nuts. And if you go to any science fiction novelist or anybody like this and do the same thing, you never know what they can say. You never know how these things can respond. My fundamental goal, the reason you should invest in this, is to do some of the other copy, because I would love to see a thousand copies. So this is why we need your help. We desperately want to see this project get made. It's, it's original, it's a unique concept, it's, it's rogue, and it's real. Um, any, any amount of money you could give would be greatly appreciated, from a dollar all the way up to several thousand. If you're super wealthy, we take millions. Um, but that money will go towards helping us uh, pay for the, the better effects, um, for the, the stunts that we want to have. There's, there's going to be part four and things like that that need choreographing. Um, basically just to make it as, as real and action-packed as we can have. This is just such a, a passion project explode. I mean, if you think about it, Spinneret herself is kind of this little, you know, if you just saw her, you think, oh, this is kind of a meek little girl. And she herself, I mean, she's larger than life. And we want this project to be larger than life. If you don't give us money, the dog is gonna get it. <gasps> this sounds like a job. Spinneret.